Did he calm down? Yeah, I don't, he might be out. This is the moment when realization dawned upon the officers that they had inadvertently caused the death of the suspect. Worse still, this tragedy could have been prevented had they heeded his desperate cries for help, but they chose to disregard them. I can't breathe. You're fine. On April 18th, 2024, Frank Eugene Tyson was apprehended after crashing his car into an electrical pole and fleeing the scene. While the cause of the crash remained unclear, his attempt to escape was evident. A passerby, witnessing Frank's flight, assisted the police in locating him. The guy who did this, he's in the VFW. He ran in there. He ran in, in where? The right now, yeah, and his car is right there. Alright. Yeah, he's in the VFW right now. Apparently the male ditched the vehicle in 1732 Sherrick and ran inside. I'll be checking the building for him. Upon finding Frank's crashed vehicle near a veterans club, the officer entered to apprehend him, unaware that the situation would escalate beyond a routine arrest. That's that gentleman standing at the bar right there. Please get him out of here now. I am you, gentlemen. No, 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 we're going outside. We're going outside. No, no, you tell me. Great tell me. Great tell me. Great tell me. No, no. No, guys, I feel me. Notably, one of the officers applied pressure with his knee on Frank's back, a restraint method reminiscent of previous cases that garnered media attention. Although such tactics were historically endorsed by law enforcement, recent years have seen a shift in policy. Yet in the heat of confrontations, old habits often resurface until the suspect is subdued. As another officer pressed on Frank's back while he attempted to stand, Frank ceased to respond. Ignoring his condition, the officers focused on searching his possessions and the surroundings. It's uncertain precisely when Frank stopped breathing, but his motionlessness and a possible cadaveric spasm hinted at a dire situation. I I thought he came to the door, I thought he got a to go over or something. <laughs> yeah, it took out a little pole. The whole pole's in the roadway right now. So hopefully none of you need to go. Got less stuff here. With every passing moment, the likelihood of survival dwindled. After several minutes without oxygen, Frank's condition deteriorated rapidly. Boy, for a good tussle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this counts. Yeah, so I don't know, man. It's your story. I know that. Yeah. I was getting ready to throw him out. He's getting as far as him. I'm like, no, nope, I'll wait. Wait till these guys show up. No, I just, I just learned that. I just learned to wait till these guys show up because then he can't see I did so. Well, <laughs> I have one more. Sorry about that. <laughs> However, it took nearly six minutes for anyone to realize the gravity of the situation. By then, it may have been too late. Can you calm down? Yeah, I don't, he might be out. Breathing? Stand up. Come on, man. Desperation ensued as CPR commenced upon discovering Frank's lack of pulse. I don't want him to start biting again. Oh, I didn't know he was biting again. Oh, he was biting again. Oh, he was biting again. Did he have a pulse? I didn't feel one. 
Can you tell medics to step it up? Feels not responsive. I don't know if I can feel things. Just keep doing CPR on him. The officers continue to take turns administering CPR while waiting for the medics to arrive, and by now it's been around 15 minutes since Frank appeared to have lost consciousness. Dude, where are these medics? We called out for like 10 minutes ago. We, are, we gave them two. We called them, they weren't here in like 6-7 minutes, told them to step on it. And still not here. With the medics on scene, all that's left to do is try to explain how this happened while the medics try to save Frank's life. Hey, guy! Bring a BBM! So you're fighting? Mm -hmm. Did you just drop? Did you hit him? No, no, no. We, we tripped yeah. him out of the ground. He was okay. still yelling. Yes. Swept his legs underneath, we picked him up, laid him on the ground, okay. and then. Face first? Or Face yeah. down or face up? Face down. Yeah. Then he had another pole or did no So he was heading east on Cherry, <laughs> just east of Warner, hit that pole over there. Yeah, because I saw crash and Crashed or car ended up 1732, and then he ran over here to the bar. Okay. Well, well. Yeah. <laughs> at least it doesn't smell out here. Despite their efforts, Frank was declared dead at the hospital less than an hour later. Pending investigation by the Ohio Attorney General's Bureau of Criminal Investigation and subsequent reporting to the Stark County Prosecutor's Office, the officers involved were placed on administrative leave with pay. Community leaders in Canton expressed mixed reactions, emphasizing the importance of transparency and the necessity for improved training in de-escalation tactics. Calls for reform echoed throughout the community, aiming to prevent such tragedies in the future. As of April 2024, the investigation into Frank Eugene Tyson's death remains ongoing.